This is the key to guessing on the SAT math section. If you're guessing randomly on SAT math, you're leaving points on the table. Strat one, start with answer choice C. When you're using the plug and check method, AKA just plugging in answer choices, always start with C. Why? Well, on the SAT, answers are typically ordered from the least to greatest order, or sometimes the greatest to least order. So let's say the answer choices are listed in least to greatest order. If you try plugging in C and it's too big, you know answer choice D can't be correct. So now you can move on to A or B. If C is too small, then you know answer choice D must be correct. This eliminates options faster than random guessing. Strat two, avoid extreme values. Look at the answer choices. Many times the extremely large or extremely small numbers are often wrong. Not always, but typically, so beware. Three, same letter for multiple unknowns. If you have a batch of multiple questions you're completely guessing on, pick the same letter for all of them. Statistically, you're more likely to get at least one right than if you spread your guesses randomly. Some call this your letter of the day. Want more SAT hacks? Click the video below.